Hey guys, so it's been a little bit of a while since we made a proper video and we thought we'd kick it off today with another introduction of one of our pets and today we're going to show you our pit bull, Sasha, and how she interacts with Momo and the other cats. Oh, yes. Their belly rubs. They are very important. Very important. So, Sasha got into our family through my little brother, who adopted her as a puppy. And unfortunately, he's now studying in Europe, so for now we're taking care of her. She is eight years old now, so she's on the older side. Um, she's a pit bull cross. She's not a full pit bull, but According to the vet, when we first brought her in, she is probably about 70-75% pit bull. And then from her behavior, we think that um, she might be pot retriever because she quite likes um, hunting in water and she's a very, very good family pet, very easy to train as well. So we think that maybe there might be some Labrador in there or something like that. <laughs> she is a very good girl. We were a little bit worried when we first got her because the pit bull obviously has a very bad reputation and we were worried that we were getting into something that we might not be able to control but we went to puppy classes, she had two years of advanced training and um, she's turned out to be a beautiful family dog and she's very much turned around even my, my view of pit bulls because she's the absolute sweetest, she wouldn't hurt a fly <laughs> and she is a very, very good family dog. As to her relationship with the cats, um, since we got her as a puppy and we already had some of our cats around, she was pretty much bullied from the moment she was a little one by um, particularly Kebby. So she has quite a bit of respect for the cats and the cats have learned not to, to be afraid of her. Um, I think Momo is probably the most resistant to her. Um, Ryu is not really phased at all, he doesn't really interact with her that much. Um, Alice is probably the closest to her, she, she tends to just come to us even when Sasha is out and just come and cuddle with us as you can see at the moment. So Momo is most problem, if I say problematic, he's a bit of an issue because he likes to chase her almost or he wants to defend us from her which is a bit of an issue. Because obviously as much as it's all fun and games if he attacks her, but because she is so much bigger than him, it would only take a split second of her to retaliate to really hurt him. So we don't leave them together unattended, um, never. Uh, we do let them interact quite a bit when we're around, but we just don't feel comfortable doing it when no one is home. Um, we've never had any major issue. Generally, when Momo does attack her, like if she tries to come into the house while he's standing in the doorway, he really doesn't like that, and then he will try to go for her nose, in which case she generally backs off quite quickly, and then we intervene and we, we move him out of the way so that she can, she can move. And yeah, so he, he is a bit problematic with her, but it is coming in this case, funnily enough, from the cat, not from the dog. Um, all our other cats, I would say, have absolutely no problem with her. They pretty much just ignore her existence. And the good thing is, if they do give her a bit of a whack on the nose or something, she backs off. It's not like she chases them and tries to eat them or something like that. She, she, she knows where she stands with them, kind of. And she, she also realizes that from a human point of view, we tend to... Obviously, we know the cats are, are more sensitive to, to being hurt than, than she is. And so will interfere and stop any dodgy interactions that they might have. Yes, so she also, I think she's kind of associated the cats with being protected. So even if a cat does smack her, she automatically, it's quite adorable, feels like she's done something wrong. And she'll look all like apologetic and put a tail between her legs and come and like apologize to us and be really sweet with us, even though she's done absolutely nothing wrong. <laughs> and we do take her for daily walks to get any energy that she might have out of her system. We have a park just down here down the road from us and we go there pretty much every day with her. We also take her on, on play dates. My best friend has a Labrador and a German Shepherd and we every now and then go and hang out with them and they can get all of that 
puppy behavior out and all that energy out. But she is also a little bit older, which means that her energy levels aren't that high anymore. She's actually quite the couch potato. She's quite happy doing a daily walk and then spending her day lying in the sun and just guarding the house. Yeah, she really loves the sun. She's a proper South African lady. She lies in the hot sun most of the day, belly exposed. <laughs> which also leads, can well, has led to the fact that she's had a melanoma. Uh, so basically skin cancer, which uh, thank God was we caught in time and, and had removed. But it is something we need to watch out for because she spends so much time in the sun. Um, and she really does like to expose her belly, which is basically bare of, of any fur. So it is something we need to watch out for and that the vet knows to watch out for when we take her for her, her checkups. Basically, she's a really, really good girl. Um, She's a fantastic dog. She's very, very sweet. She loves to cuddle. She loves humans. I think deep down she thinks she is human. Um, her favorite activity would be when my brothers um, come and visit us in South Africa is to sleep in and be under the blanket with them and basically spoon with my brothers. I think she sees them as her puppy mates. She's also very effective as a guard dog, although she might not be the most aggressive or anything. She has this way of grinning at people. Even if she just likes seeing someone, she grins at them. But also, if anyone sees her at the gate, they think twice to do anything, yes. I think. She does bark very aggressively at the gate um, because she does realize she is very territorial. So she sees the gate as the entry to her property and she doesn't appreciate it if anyone goes near it, unless it's someone she knows. When it's friends of ours, she very quickly realizes she also recognizes the cars and then she doesn't make a sound for them. But when it's strangers or just other dogs walking past, then she will definitely bark. But yeah, as Toby said, the, the grinning thing is, is adorable to us. Um, it has gotten us in trouble when we walk in the park as well because she'll basically, we call it her smile, she'll smile at at random people and they'll think that she's um, baring her teeth, which I guess she is, but she doesn't mean Not it in, in an a, aggressive way. In an aggressive way at all. It's actually just her way of saying, hey, I don't know where she picked it up. I have seen other videos of pit bulls doing this, so I don't know if it's just a pit bull thing, but it's, it's quite cute. And we can actually do it on command. Um, she has this little like bump on her face and if you scratch it, then she will pull up the one side of her face, which is quite funny. And I think that's it. That's Sasha, our protective guard dog, let's call her. Um, so if you have, if you yourself have, have a pit bull or if you have any stories of pit bulls and cats and you'd like to share your experience of how they coexist, we'd be more than happy to hear from you and what your opinion on, on pit bulls are because, um, as I said, ours has changed quite a bit because of Sasha. And I think I would be very comfortable having another pit bull in the future one day. Also, whatever other dog-cat relationships you might have, we'd love to hear about them. And then, obviously, as always, please consider subscribing and liking the video and sharing them with your friends. Also, please go f find us on Instagram, and we just launched our Facebook page. Please find us there as well. I'll have the links down in the description below. Cheers. Bye! <laughs>